Good evening. Check it out. I got some super old Star Wars toys from Taco Bell back in the day. This one is the oldest, obviously. I remember getting them at the Taco Bell in our local mall's food court back when there was still a Taco Bell there. On the bottom here, it even says what year he's from. We've got 1996. He's by a company called Applause. And, you know, of course, we've got the Lucasfilm stuff there. And if you are wondering, this zigzag here is an N because when we were kids, my brother and I used to fight over, like, everything. <laughs> so anything we both had one of, my mom would label it so we wouldn't fight over whose was whose. Because, you know, kids, man. They're fucking annoying. <laughs> I was no exception. His Yoda, you know, for being so old, he's actually in pretty good shape. We've got just this little black part on his nose here, and then I think there's like a black little dot on his noggin here. A little brain dot. Other than that, he's in pretty good shape. You know, no other noticeable scuffs or anything like that. He's got his little toes here. Let's paint those toenails. Alright, you want to pinch your fingernails too? Good. Good job. You did great. You got these great ears. Nice. Nice and clean. You gotta do both sides. Anyone else like that? I'm very much like the kind of person where it's like, if you don't do both sides, I'm gonna lose my mind. Look at that little face. Yoda, yeah, why are you so handsome? You know, it seems silly for me to be using a pink brush because everything else is so spooky. I mean, this one's not bad. It's not even for this. Like, I had bought a makeup brush set that really kind of sucked. <laughs> That's what I get for paying like 12 fucking dollars for it, but I used what I could out of it and this is one of the ones that I didn't find a use for until now. Now I'm using it to rub Yoda's beautiful little face. Totally normal. <laughs> when I was a kid, Yoda was always one of my favorite characters in the original trilogy. He was cool and cute and always had good shit to say, you know, what's not to love about Yoda. And then, of course, these movies come out, and he starts wielding the lightsaber like a badass, and you're like, oh, hell yeah, I knew it. My mom is a super, super big Star Wars fan, which is why we know Star Wars. And I always wondered how people like her who grew up with old man Yoda, like how they felt seeing him jump around with a light sword, light sword, lightsaber. Who was he fighting in that cave? Count Dooku? Dooku rocks because it's Christopher Lee. That dude can do no wrong, man. He's so great. Man was Dracula. You know, he was Willy Wonka's dad. He was the priest in Corpse Bride. Motherfucking Dooku. He's Saruman the White. Saruman the absolute piece of shit. Saruman was cool until he fucking turned. I was like, yes, Sauron is my master now. And I was like, fuck you, dude, why? Man, but when the Ents attack, that shit was cool as fuck. We're not talking about Lord of the Rings right now, though. We're talking about Star Wars. Oh, is that good? Do people like that scratchy sound for asthma? I honestly don't know, because I personally don't much care for it. I don't really like fabric sounds either. But 
some people are all about that shit. I actually grew out my nails. They're not perfect right now. I've been trying so hard to keep them painted for videos and then it just didn't happen this time around. Cause like, I actually filmed a video yesterday and for reasons out of my control I decided I couldn't use it. It was actually this one. <laughs> this is a refill. Don't tell anybody. So now my nails are not perfect, but they are longer. Specifically for exactly that. Check her out because she's really exciting. She's actually great for asthma. I can't wait to show you. Watch. Oh, especially back here. Please ignore the fact that it's on her butt. <laughs> also, let's stop ignoring that for a second and just laugh at this because. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? And that's not even the best part, dude. Except, okay, so this one, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this isn't even Padme. All right, hear me out. I can't remember, but I'm almost certain that when Queen Amidala rolls up and she's talking to everyone and they're wearing this and they're getting ready to take off with Anakin. Uh, actually, no, I think they're getting ready to go find Anakin, actually. And they're on their way to tattooing, but anyway, so she sends one of her handmaidens, right? And she's like, I want this one with you on this trip, right? And it ends up being Padme, right? So, I'm pretty sure this is actually her handmaiden in disguise, so Padme could go on the trip, which would mean this is actually uh, Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley played one of her handmaidens and got to wear the costume. And I'm almost certain this is the dress that she got to wear. And it would make sense, because what I'm about to show you will blow your mind. Just kidding. But what I'm about to show you is that she opens up. You flip her around. You can see actually that she is also by applause. Do not start singing Lady Gaga. She is just really great for asthma. I might bring her out in other videos if I can figure out a way to work her in properly because I just love her. But anyways, she opens up. What? What could be in there, you say? Candy? No. It's Pat May in her little tattooing outfit. Always loved this hair too. Actually, <clears throat> it wasn't older videos, but right now all, most of my older videos are only available on my Patreon because I'm trying to do it a little differently. Um, but I have like the actual Star Wars figure of a little pad made to two, you know, and I also have the little like I don't know how old you guys are, if you remember, but the episode one figures, and maybe even episodes two and three, I'm not sure. But I think it's just the episode one figures. They came with, like, these little stands that you could put on, like, this, I think it was, like, a wrist thing, and they would talk and, you know, say lines from the movie and stuff. And I have the Padme one on my key ring. For a while, my brother had the Darth Maul one, and like we didn't discuss it. We just both put one on our keyring, and then when we saw that each one had one on there, it was like, oh my god, that's great. She's actually great. Get that face back out of there. I don't know why the face keeps sticking, because that's not usual. <laughs> I don't remember ever having that problem until, like, just right now. Nice. Oh, 
she just sunk right on there like she was meant to. Yes. Her little nose, man. Like, it's not supposed to be black, but with the dot here and the two dots on each cheek and then like the dot-like line on her lip, it just kind of all fits. And like with her eyes and everything, I don't know, it just all fits. And it doesn't bother me that her little nose is black. Because like, it kind of looks good. Am I crazy? I could be crazy. I love Padme. She's my favorite Star Wars character of all time. Like, out of all nine plus movies. I was also a big fan of Anakin. But... Not necessarily Darth Vader. I appreciate Darth Vader for who he is and how scary he is. But I thought Anakin was way cooler as a Jedi. But I think that's supposed to be like the tragedy there. Well, one of many tragedies surrounding Anakin Skywalker. Seriously, this is my favorite. I hate that it's her butt because it makes it feel like pervy or something. But it just sounds so good. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of see where the light hits it, but there's like a design room here. Like how much detail went into this thing, man. Especially on this side. Oh dear god, it's amazing. Dear god, it's so good. Okay, let's see what else we can do with Yoda. Yoda Yoda. The Yoda. sit here and rub that makeup brush down her back all day, but... <laughs> I guess we could open her up one more time. Let's see what we can do with this one, because I really didn't... I didn't do anything. I'm not the biggest fan of this one's face. I don't know, it just doesn't look like her to me. But oh come on, you know this is the one we need.
All right. So that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I also hope you rest in 